Welcome everyone to our show. This is my lovely wife Gwen, I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about a really special thing that's coming up for us and our church. And uh, we're going on the road, darling. I know, I'm excited. Way down on tour. That's what we're talking about today. Join us. Life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. It talks about in the Bible going out into the world and preaching the good news. Yes. So that's what we're going to do. Well, the early Christians did that. I mean, that's what they did. A lot of people are like wondering, what do I do with my life, you know? But if you go back and look at what so many did, they sold everything. They followed Christ and Christ was walking around the countryside, traveling around, donkeys, you know, and uh, in, in groups. And, you know, they would stop and eat someplace and, and then they would all get up and get going or they would spend the night in the nearest hotel. I mean, it's just no different. I mean, they would put some tents up and then travel to the next city. And uh, they were used to that. Pilgrimages, taking it three times a year. Travel, wow. vacations. I mean, and we've got spring break coming up. And it's amazing to think about, you know, Jesus talked about uh, um, going out and, and, and the man came to him and said, Master, how do I get eternal life? And Jesus said to him, go and sell everything you own and give it to the poor and come follow me. I know, it's so cool. And, and the man actually in the Bible, that's one of the stories, he couldn't do it. And that's when the, Jesus said it's easier uh, for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. But can you imagine actually selling everything you own, putting everything aside and committing your life to going out and preaching the gospel to people? That's that's an amazing thing. That was a request that God had for the rich young ruler. But what we're talking about is for you to just set aside some time to join us March 18th for Atlanta, March 21st, that weekend for Destin, Florida. And we would love to see you. I just feel like that when you when you leave something like this, you feel so encouraged. You know, way down on tour is something that we've been doing for years, and uh, we travel a lot of times in the caravan, right? In absolutely, those, absolutely. And way down, we, and so we're all headed out, uh, and then uh, we'll stop at restaurants, just like the early Christians did, and get refreshed, get something to eat. And traveling with the saints, why does it just get you giddy inside? And it's just fun. Kids love it. We love it. And there's something about knowing that you're doing the will of God. For me, it's a very gratifying knowing that if, 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 if Jesus were in and amongst us today, he would, he would be telling us to do what we're about to do. He'd join us. He would join us. And uh, I've said it before about the people at the Remnant Church. These people know how to have a lot of fun. And so it's always a really good time. Oh, it, it's all clean fun. That's the, the beauty about being with true saints is you don't have to worry about any words that are not spoken that are not just beautiful, noble, gracious, and kind, and upright. It's something about being with the upright. And everywhere we go, everybody is so amazed because everybody's so joyful and upright that uh, managers, restaurant owners, they can't believe how the children behave. You know, just coming around the saints, it's worth it. So we're asking, hey, if, if Jesus asked a rich young ruler to sell everything, we're just saying, hey, come this way. We're praying in the name of Jesus Christ that your bosses and all the people that are working out there, that they will like let you off and uh, on this short notice and come join us in Atlanta and in Destin. So meeting new people, are you kidding me? Don't you love it? I can't wait to meet these people. The fellowship is phenomenal. And she mentioned something that's, that's always amazing to me, to watch people's reactions to the children that come out of this environment. My daughter being one of them. When we go to restaurants, and we, we set the kids at a table and, they, and, and the adults might be at another table. The waiters and the servers always come up to us and say, are those, your, are those your kids? They are the most well-behaved, polite, gracious children. And I always feel really good about that because it's, it's really true. The kids at our church are sensational. 
worth the whole trip just coming to see that children in this day and age can be upright, pure, and, uh, and in love with God. So it's all about God. It's all about Jesus Christ. And then getting to see you guys, just the hugs, the love, the encouragement, and uh, all you Facebook people. We're, we're so excited about meeting all you guys that are on Facebook. And we just, we just love your support and we love to support you. So. We would love for you to travel, join our caravan, and uh, go with us on the whole trip. It's going to be so fun. Absolutely. There's a certain energy about going on the road and having a certain amount of... Um, the, the, the anticipation of going from one place to another and all gathering and meeting new people and that type of fellowship is very, very exciting for me. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it too. And on Tuesday, if you want to join us at the aquarium in Atlanta, Joe's going to be scuba diving. So we're, we're going to be filming another yeah. episode of Life with Gwen and Joe there. So we would love to have you as the audience uh, at this three story aquarium that has sharks and stingrays and, and gorgeous fish in it. So it's, it's really neat. In the Mark 16, 15, and this is the premise for why we're doing what we're doing here. It says, he said to them, go into the, all the world and preach the good news to all creation. And that's what we're about to do. I mean, talking about the Great Commission, I mean, he's asking us to go into all the world. He's, uh, he, he would ask the disciples to go in there and teach them, baptize them. He would, he would also go in there and say, teach them to obey everything. And that's what we're talking about. Isn't that what's missing in life? It's the everything. And uh, the everything is the big secret. If you go all the way, then it opens up a whole new dimension, a whole new world, Amen. a kingdom of love that, that, that people don't, they think they're experiencing, but it's not until you go all the way that all of a sudden something clicks and you just go, oh my word, there is a good God out there and uh, this, is, this is more fun than anything on earth. So it's exciting. I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will have a full understanding of every good thing we have in Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the saints. Well, it's exciting. All the testimonies. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Talk about being refreshed. I mean, again, meeting each person. Uh, Joe and I getting to just greet you, uh, encourage you, and then seeing these testimonies as weight loss, or it may be laying down alcohol, laying down anger, laying down any vice that would keep you out of the kingdom of heaven uh, and, and going all the way. It's, 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 it's a beautiful time. Again, something about travel. God's the one that he created travel. Uh, it's, it's just one of those really, it just, like you said a while ago, it energizes you. Uh, to know that you're going on a trip, you're getting out of town. So Absolutely. come join us. Don't miss this. Don't please come. Please come it. hang out with us and, and enjoy <laughs> enjoy the fellowship. It's going to be a, a phenomenal time, and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, being able to meet my wife in person and 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 feel the energy that she brings and and the, the scriptures that she that she will be quoting and reading and and all the things that come from our church are an amazing gift. And um, I just, I really, really implore you to, to please come join us. And, I think and we all really know that everybody's coming to meet Joe, Laura, so hey, no. they're I coming love to, that. They're coming to meet you, darling. <laughs> it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's Let's you. not fight. So we're gonna have a good time there. Come join us and just in case you missed this one, know that the Way Down on Tour is not ending. We've got the whole rest of this year and next year, so be looking for those dates, getting your plane tickets early, getting yourself ready, and all your bags packed up so that you can join us for this totally incredible
encouraging experience. Thanks for joining us today. And I love you guys. See you next week. Love you all. Take care. I just want to let y'all know that he was late. What do you say about that? Are you embarrassed? I was on the phone with the president. <laughs> he called me. <laughs> you had a real reason for that? I did. It was about you, Donna. <laughs> this is not Hi, the end, but it is your destination. <laughs> Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.